Colonial Park Cemetery, in the heart of the historic district, is the final resting place for some of Savannah's most legendary citizens, along with thousands of unnamed souls in unmarked graves. Among the cemetery's notorious ghosts is an accused murderer named Rene Ash. Rene Ash Rondolier was his full name. He stood in excess of seven feet in height. He supposedly murdered two girls, two young sisters. And these young girls were found murdered here in the cemetery. Their necks had been broken. I mean, they literally had been crushed. And it was known that Rene Ash, this sort of town freak, had played in the cemetery. And it was known that he also uh, treated animals in the same way, like cats and dogs were described uh, by the church as being littered in the cemetery. And so when these girls were found, he became the blame. And ultimately, the town executed him mob style. Colonial Park Cemetery has its own hanging tree, and it's the tallest live oak in, in the entire cemetery. They believe that after they executed Rene, that, you know, the murders would stop. You know, there was this sort of perhaps relief, uh, but it was very momentary because the following day, Rene was literally still hanging on a tree. That was the way they did it. They left the body there as an example. And while he was there, they found a young girl laying alongside the main road into town, and she had been murdered in, in a similar fashion. So it was believed that Rene's ghost was now getting revenge. Killing him in life had not stopped him in death, so to speak. It's believed that his ghost dwells in the cemetery. 